Uh, well, we met back in high school when Alex and I were on the same soccer team. Yeah, uh, Garrett was talking about how he played uh, guitar in practice one day, and I, just because of all the guitar players I'd met before him at that time were uh, not good. So when he <laughs> first told me he played guitar, I'm like, oh, yeah, it probably sucks. Terrible. And didn't think anything of it until I heard him play at CBU, because he would always bring his guitar to school and sing, try and pick up all the girls in the main Famous lobby the at school. Yeah. And, uh, and I was like, oh wow, you can sing and play guitar, that's pretty cool. Because I heard him playing drums with like a broken foot in the drum room and realized that I clearly had made a poor decision in my choice of drummer. And uh, <laughs> so yeah, right. I started Dionysia. Uh, I was taking photography and that's where I met Will. I'd only been playing for maybe four months. Um, yeah. When when that happened, and he just invited me to come to come jam with you guys. Like, yeah, and it, you know it was just a good vibe. I sort of latched yeah. onto it. And then came Julian. And then came Julian. <laughs> yeah, we were good buddies. Um, this guy was in men's chorus with me. Yeah, that was one of the best years in men's chorus. That was pretty cool. Definitely. But I think our first <laughs> practice all together was in Alex's bedroom at his house. It oh yeah, really it was. <laughs> oh, the tiny bedroom. Yeah, the tiny small. bedroom. Wow. We've had plenty of practice wow. spaces. <laughs> I like to think that uh, Dionysia is one of those names that people can't pronounce and don't really know how to say and stuff, but maybe eventually. It's because we're elitist. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> maybe eventually we'll become one of those household names, you know? Oh yeah, Dionysia was playing down the block the other day. Did you see him? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really, it was, a, it was kind of a decision made on all of our parts. And it was definitely at a point where Alex and I started our first year of college and we weren't really sure if we were going to continue as a band just because it's definitely a tumultuous part in one's life when they begin um, that sort of education and uh, we all kind of made the decision as a group that music was something we really loved and wanted to keep going with and uh, so we revamped our, our social media stuff and we started playing and writing new stuff and really hunkering down and doing it and you know being the professional band we wanted to be. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be difficult to, to <clears throat> devote a lot of time and a lot of energy to a band when uh, we really only spend three months out of the year together all in the same place, and uh, sometimes even less. But I think, you know, we made it work pretty well. We um, all were making trips to, to Long Island. I uh, was driving, yep. Julian was flying. Uh, during our term, I actually missed the first couple of weekends of college to record, and, uh, and I, don't, you know, I don't regret a minute of it. Um, that was antics. <laughs> you know, and it worked, and then yeah, I recall, um, you know, it, definitely the work does go in when we're not all in the same place. The communication barrier makes it tougher, but um, you know, we managed to plan our antics tour pretty much entirely while we were all still in school. There uh, are some benefits though, like of, like being at different schools. Yeah, like it work. gives us a chance to then all write songs and then come to practice with a song already idea formatted, and then. That can make a writing process so much faster. No, absolutely. I feel like yeah. I feel like also being in these different schools. I mean, Alex and I are are both at Wentworth in Boston together. But even that, we're in two completely different majors, studying two completely different things, and it's like I barely even see this guy there. It's hard to plan. Yeah, unless you know, shows. Yeah, <laughs> but what it does, being at all these different schools, we have different experiences, and I feel like it almost. It makes the stuff that we write more well-rounded. It kind of brings a different aspect to it. It's not, we're not all in the same place writing about the same thing. We're all experiencing different parts of life and bringing that to the table. Carried away, carried away.